Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A pretty looking night here in Central Texas. Skies are clear, winds are light, and again, not many clouds around. That is our live Centex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker on the rooftop of One Colleen Center, and we are checking out crystal clear skies there. Traffic seems to be moving just fine and dandy, and weather-wise, we're watching those temperatures drop. Take a look at some of the numbers right now. It is 49 degrees here in Waco. Colleen at 51. 49 in Gatesville, 56 in Temple. Temperatures are maybe just a tad warmer than Waco down in the College Station area at 55 degrees. Maybe just a few high cirrus clouds, but that's about it. Nothing that'll try to retain some of that heat that we gained from this afternoon. Our winds have been from the southeast under 10 miles per hour. We've got a 5 mile per hour wind here in Waco, 7 in the Mejia area, 7 in Comanche, and you can see Atlanta has a south to southeast wind right around 6 miles per hour. There we go. We've got our satellite and radar. A few clouds here and there moving through parts of central Texas, also just to the south of us. Nothing major, nothing that'll bring us any rainfall. We've got high pressure located up toward the uh, Illinois area and another one over the Four Corners. That's providing a huge ridge here in the Southern Plains. That's why we've been seeing pretty cold nights, a lot of sunshine during the day, and no precipitation. Again, that ridge is providing us with, with the, those big swings in temperatures, and that's what we're going to be seeing as we uh, finish the week. We still have got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You will see here it's going to be a bit on the warm side. Wanted to show you this is our water vapor. And again, we are, what we are looking at here, kind of in that rust color, the brown color, that is that dry air. That dry air is on top of us for a good part of the day. Those clouds are being uh, brought in by that little. Uh, swath there of some moisture across parts of our area. Nothing major, but this is a, a trend that we're going to see here for the next several days here, meaning uh, uh, hardly a cloud around until we get to maybe on Thursday. But until then, take a look at our future cast. High and dry weather. This is at midnight tonight. Temperatures by tomorrow morning. I think we're going to be dropping into the mid to upper 30. So it's going to be colder than what our computer models are showing here. This morning we had 32 degrees. I would not be surprised if we get about 35, 36 tomorrow morning. So you're going to need the coat before you you push the kids out the door to, to uh, head to school or you're getting ready for work. As we go throughout the morning tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of sunshine, temperatures climbing into the mid-60s, and by the afternoon, we'll touch the 70s. We're going to be in the mid-70s, I think, under mostly sunny skies. But as soon as that sun goes down, and again, it's before 5.30, we will quickly cool off into the 60s there by 5 o'clock. And by late Wednesday into early Thursday, you notice a little bit more cloud cover moving our way. So I think what's going to happen here is our winds more of a south to, to southeasterly uh, direction, giving us a little bit warmer air and also a little bit more moisture moving in. So look at these temperatures by early in the morning on Thursday. They're going to be in the 50s to start. Much warmer than the last couple of days and tomorrow morning. And as we go throughout the day on Thursday, mostly sunny skies will be across the board. You'll notice as we extend this out here and even, even into Friday, high and dry weather, still under that influence of high pressure. But there is a frontal system not far away that will come into play, but not until the second half of the weekend. So right now, Saturday looks much better than Sunday, meaning it's going to be warmer. But if we need that rain, and we'd also need that rain here. We're going to see our chances go up throughout the day on Sunday. Forecast details in for tonight. Mostly clear skies, chilly conditions, 38 degrees the low temperature, and 76 degrees the high temperature tomorrow. Under mostly sunny skies, there is the Lockridge Priest Long Range 10-day forecast, and you're going to see some chances of rain move in, but there's the front. Sunday into Monday, so much cooler weather to start next week. Shouldn't hamper your travels. Thursday, of course, is... Thanksgiving. Don't forget, it's going to be a little bit warmer. And then you'll notice down toward Bryan and College Station, pretty smooth sailing right into the weekend. There's that front that moves through. And again, slight chances of rain. Nothing major, Adam. So I think a lot of folks are hitting the roads next week. Probably won't see much whatsoever. I think we see any rain. Our best chances are going to be Sunday and Monday.